I'm Jason Bardis, mechanical engineer and robot designer. I built this baby here for the LEGO Mindstorms Robo Gladiators competition at the Electronic Entertainment Expo 99. This is called 2A, a pun on the French verb 2A, which means to kill. Hi, I'm Christian Carlberg, robotic builder extraordinaire, and I built Threadnought for the E3 Expo LEGO Mindstorms Robotic Challenge. As you can see, 2A is a very complicated robot with various different modules, features, and different mechanical parts all over it. Dreadnought is very simple. It just pushes things. 2A features a ramp scooping design here with these flexible old face plates that ride flush to the ground and should be able to scoop under the other robots, bringing them up on this wedge part. Additionally, these powerful rubber tread belts are moving upwards, which should make another robot be grabbed and yanked upwards over my robot. Dreadnought is a brute monster powered by 16 motors on each side. Its primary weapon are two sprung-loaded shovels that shoves the enemies around. 2A features a pneumatic piston system. I have a pump here in the middle which I pump up before the match which fills four air tanks with high pressure air. As the match is going I have two compressors here that keep the air pressure high in the lines even if I'm using the pistons. Once I've got a robot up on top of the ramp, I actuate a motor which pushes a pneumatic switch, which lifts the whole ramp with power and speed. The compressors keep the pressure high and the robots go flying. Dreadnought pushes other robots. The treads on 2A's ramp are driven through four motors on each side, which are driven through a series of very powerful chains. Shoves. 2A is driven by eight gear motors, four on each side, which give it its blinding speed and finesse. Dreadnought is powered by 32 motors. Shove! 32 motors on your drivetrain? Well, I've got... Dual exhaust. Dual exhaust? I have dual scooping action. Dual scooping action? Well, my robot is commanded by the Cyber Granny. Now we're going to talk about remote control. To control our LEGO robots, we had one RCX brick in our hand and one RCX brick on the robot. We'd use the transmitting RCX to talk to the receiving RCX to make the robot do what we wanted. On the transmitter side, to control the robots, we used various sensors like the micro switch and a rotation sensor, which we manipulated with our hands. The uh, transmitting RCX processed these signals, sent data to the receiver RCX, which powered motors, which made our robots move. I think the coolest part of my creation was actually my controller. I used two touch button sensors up here and a rotary sensor here. Now I use the lower button here to drive my robot forward as I triggered it. And then I also used the top button to drive my robot in reverse. Now the wheel I used to uh, turn the robot left 
and turn it right. For my robot controller, I hooked two RCX bricks together along with these hand contoured ergonomic grips that position my fingertips exactly on these six micro switch buttons. Now I can control six different functions from this remote, but my robot 2A had only four. I could push the drivetrain on the right side forwards or backwards, control the left side drivetrain forwards or backwards, I could control the rubber treads on the ramp mechanism, and the fourth button was for actuating the pneumatic switch that pushed the ramp mechanism forwards. I'm going. I think that's going to be pretty good.